If you need to email someone cold, maybe a big shot in your industry, and you're nervous about it, I've got a good tip for how you can warm them up. I'm Marsha from yesyesmarsha.com networking, that's actually fun, and I want to talk to you about commenting on people's blogs. First, an admission. I never used to comment on strangers' blogs. Ever. I honestly thought the only people that did were people who were super angry about what that person had written or people who just had a bit too much time on their hands. I'm so bored. I've got five hours till the end of the day. Hang on. I know what I can do. I can go and comment on someone's blog. Then when I started yesyesmarsha.com, I started a blog and I wrote my first blog about networking. And I really hoped that it would be informative and I hoped that it would be entertaining. And mostly I really hoped that it would have advice that would help people. So, you know, I got it all done and I hit publish and then nothing. My blog just went out into the ether. I could see on the Google Analytics that people were reading it, but I had no idea what they thought. Did they find it informative? Did they think it was entertaining? Was the advice useful? Did they think it was a load of crap that they wish they hadn't wasted three or four minutes reading? I just didn't know. Then it happened. My first comment. And it was amazing. And it was someone that I'd met. So it wasn't like a random stranger being like, Marsha, you have changed my life forever. But it was just a nice little comment in reaction to what I'd written. And it felt so good. Ever since then, I've realized when someone comments on your blog, and if you have a blog, you'll know this, it feels like the sunshine came out and birds started singing and you just want to do a little dance in your seat. It feels really amazing. So what you want to do is make the person who you're planning to email feel like that. So there are different kinds of comments you can leave. Obviously, at its most basic level, you can just write, great blog, or you've done it again, or really enjoyed reading this. Now, I think that leaving a comment like that is better than not leaving a comment at all, but there are more impactful ones you can do. So specifically, if you can leave a compliment, obviously if you enjoyed it. If you didn't enjoy it, find a different blog to comment on. So in terms of compliments, I've talked before in the video about how to add value to people, that the way not to feel like a brown noser when you're complimenting is to be genuine and to be specific. So pull something out of the blog that you really genuinely thought was great and say what that is. I really enjoyed the way you discussed the different kinds of shoes that a dog can wear in winter. I don't know what blogs you read, but find something like that. Even better than that, is a you transformed me compliment. This is when you tell them that you are gonna change something as a result of reading their blog. Now this could be as simple as you changing your viewpoint on something. I'm never gonna look at dog shoes in winter the same way again. But even better, if there's something that you're gonna change about your behavior. Again, maybe this is something monumental, or maybe it's something tiny. I wrote to someone once to tell them that as a result of a blog that they'd written about how to have your office at home, that I'd moved a plant from the back of my room to my desk. Still here. That was like a year ago. And I genuinely think my life is a little bit better. So what you're doing, if you tell them, if you give them a you transformed me compliment, is you're saying to this person, my life is better as a result of something that you did. My life is different and better. And in fact, an even more impactful kind of comment along these lines is if you tell them what you changed and then come back to them with the result. So, say I were to go back to that blog and say, I've had a plant on my desk for almost a year, and you know what, I really think it makes a huge difference to my well-being, I've found that my productivity has shot up, I sit at my desk working for longer, particularly if you can add in some concrete results. You know, as a result of your blog, I changed blah blah and now my mailing list has grown by this amount. What that does is one, it makes them feel great because that's usually the reason people have written these blogs, so that they can affect change in other people and make the world a better place. But also, it could be something that they could use in a testimonial. So, to review. If you are planning to send a cold email to someone and they have a blog, have a little poke around and do some comments to warm them up. The different comments you can do are pretty straight, love this a specific, genuine compliment, 
a you transformed me compliment where you tell them something different you're doing as a result of the blog and the best kind of all you transform me and here are the results particularly when you can make them concrete now over to you have you got a blog have you noticed that any particular comments make you feel really amazing? If so, I'd love to know what they were. Or if you've commented on someone else's and got a nice reaction, go and paste it in in the comments at yesyesmarsha.com. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, like it, share it with anyone else that might, subscribe, and if you want even more tips and advice plus secrets that I don't want to put on the internet, jump over and join the Yes Yes Marsha mailer family over at yesyesmarsha.com. I'm Marsha and I'll see you there.